Ni hao shi nian ji, it's Dang Lao Shi again, uh, back with another online lesson. Um, to follow up from our lesson on describing people, we're going to do something else, which is going to help us talk about um, us and where we live and what we do. So our learning objectives for today uh, is to be able to say where you live and to describe the place uh, you live. So we're giving you linking adjectives and nouns. There's a slight grammar trick that we're going to learn to be able to do that. All right, let's jump in. So the first word that we need is the word which means to be located. All right, that's the character, and it's pronounced zai. This is the word you say when we mark the roll. When I ask you zai ma, and you say zai, this is the this is the zai. So zai, so they translated it here as to be located. Uh, it, it also means in, on, or at, you know, depending on on which sentence it's in. Okay, zai, z a i fourth tone. Now we're going to use the day with that character. Now you can see the zai on the right, and this is zhu zai. So the ZH is a J sound and the Z is a Z sound. So Ju Zai. And that means to live in, to live by. Okay, Ju Zai. So let's have a look at that in a sentence. Here's an example sentence. Do you recognize those characters? You have seen them before. Yeah, so that's that simply says Wa Chu Zai. Ying Guo. Ying Guo. It's one of our countries. Do you remember what that means? So here, uh, that just means I live in England. Yeah? I live in England. It's literally the same as English. Same order. Here's another example. Again, there's are characters you've seen before. Yeah? Which means I live by the seaside. So here, the, you can see that the zai, and you wouldn't say in English, I live in the seaside. You, you can, yeah, I live by the seaside. So depending on what comes after it, yeah, the, the zai in English would have a slightly different meaning. But together with zhu zai, it just means live in, live by. Okay. So I live in the countryside. How do you think we would say that one? Do you remember how to say countryside? Well, the characters look something like that. Wa zhu zai nong tun. Wa zhu zai nong tun. I live in the countryside. All right, so that's where we make those sentences. To make questions, we need a question word. The question word we need here is where, for the where do you live question. So where in Chinese is na. Now, Technically, this is northern Chinese. This is the Beijing dialect, which is the one I speak. Um, but this is the one. I'm, so in other parts of China, they say it slightly differently. But uh, that's okay. We're going to we're going to learn the word nar. Nar means where. Okay. It's important that we put that r sound on the end because this on its own pronounced na. That means which. So nar with an r on the end. The r is important. Okay. Nar where. So there's our question. Okay. Ni zhu zai na er. So the question word comes at the end. All right. So that's our question. Where do you live? In English, where comes at the front. In Chinese, though, remember we've got our substitution system. So the na er comes at the end. And our question is ni zhu zai na er. Okay. That's a cool system. Because with a substitution system, the way that you answer that question is that we take the question word out and we put the answer in and we don't need to change any of the order of the words. Okay, so remember, that's simpler than what we do in English. Okay, so there's our question. Ni zhu zai na er. Literally, you live at where? Now, here's the next bit that we're going to need to learn. We've got adjective plus du plus noun. This little character here is D. The pinion is D-E, no tone. It's got a neutral tone. So here we've got Mei Li the Nong Tun. So Mei Li means beautiful. Nong Tun means countryside. So when you want to talk about the beautiful countryside in Chinese, you need to put this D in the middle. Okay. Why? Well, because. 
Okay, this is a grammar rule. We just have to remember to do it. All right, so whenever you've got an adjective, a two character adjective like that, and a noun, in between we've got to put da. So we've got mei da nong tun. And that's beautiful countryside. Okay. Um, so if you want to say, I live in beautiful countryside, well, we just take that bit that we've learned before. And when you say, wo zhu zai mei li da nong tun. I live in the beautiful, and then our du countryside. Okay. So that's, one that that's a very simple way that you can describe the place that you that you live rather than just saying i live in the countryside you can say um so to take coffs harbor as an example uh, coffs harbor is on the seaside hai bian so we can just say wo zhu zai hai bian i live on the i live by the seaside you could, if you think it's beautiful, you can use mei li, like we've got here. Yeah, 我住在 mei li de hai bian, I live at the beautiful seaside. So you could even say, add something else in there, you could say that we live in Australia's beautiful seaside. So yeah, 我住在 澳大利亚 mei li de hai bian. Yeah? So you can see we're just adding layers of complexity by taking what we already know and adding it in there. All right, but this slide is really important. Okay, so again, with, with our grammar slides, pause the video, get the notes down. We've got adjective plus the plus noun. That's that's a basic fundamental rule of Chinese grammar. Moving on. So we've just got some more examples here. Okay, this is vocabulary we haven't seen for a while, but the thing is the same. Hao chi, hao chi means delicious. Mian tiao. Mian tiao is noodles. So we can't just say delicious noodles. We have to put the in the middle. Hao chi de mian tiao. Uh, and it's just the tail. Okay, so tasty, delicious noodles. Hao chi de mian tiao. Another example. Okay, so this one we've just seen. Um, we saw it in the context of talking about a woman. Right? Piao liao, beautiful. This is not a woman though. This is one of our modes of transport. Remember what these characters are? Now that's qi chua, qi chua, which is, see if you remember. <laughs> so we've got piao liang de qi chua. It's a beautiful something. It's a beautiful car. All right. So again, we can't, in English, we can just say beautiful car. But in Chinese, we need that de in the middle. Piao liang de qi chua. Okay. So here's our question and answer form. All right. Top circle is the question, bottom circle is, is how we answer it. Ni zhu zai na. And our answer, wo zhu zai. And then we put the place in there. So you can see our order of the words is the same. We don't have to move anything around. Okay, so this is what I'd like you to do. Okay, so if you need to go back in the video, you can. There's also a copy of these slides in our Google Classroom that you can use. So you need to write out zhu zai. We got to write out the grammar rule, and then here's the question: Ni zhu zai na ar, and you've got to write out an answer based on Coffs Harbour. Okay, so that's something I'd like you to 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 do in your book. Ni zhu zai na ar, or zhu zai. You can talk about the fact that we live by the sea. You can write that it's in Australia. You could call it beautiful. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Anything else you can think of as part of this, as, this extension exercise, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So I think we're done. We are, because the last thing that's uh, here, that's actually a link. So if you go to the, go to the, the, the slides in our know, Google Classroom, there's a link there uh, to a British woman talking about her apartment in Beijing. She gives us a bit of a tour of a pretty typical uh, Beijing apartment. It's not too flash. It's not uh, disgusting. It's somewhere in the middle. And she talks about what it's like to live there, how much it costs, which is kind of interesting if, you, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, it's also sort of a preview of what our assessment task for this term is going to be. So check out that video if you'd like. Uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Good luck with your studies. This is Dang Lao Shi saying, Zai Jian.